The Cherokee County woman says every time she calls Social Security, she gets a phone sex line instead, and the woman is trying to file a disability claim. Channel 2's Audrey Washington helped the woman in Canton contact the Social Security office to find a solution. I had to have all my, my, both my hips replaced, both my knees. Oh my and my elbow. Heather Anadi suffers from rheumatoid arthritis. With her husband by her side, she told me she's been on disability for 15 years. But recently, she got this letter in the mail stating that she's been taken off disability and will no longer receive her checks. So she filed an appeal. And then I received this letter back stating that I needed to fill out more of this paperwork, which is the exact same paperwork I've already filled out twice now. So it prompted me to call this phone number. Arnati says when she called the number listed for her case agent, she got a major shock. Welcome to Fantasy Line. It's a sex line number. <laughs> Fantasy Line offers a private, live, one on one phone fantasy to callers 18 years and older. They answered the phone and I was like, oh my gosh. Your fantasy is only moments away. After calling the sex line, Arnadi says she then called the general number for the Social Security Administration but got nowhere. Making matters worse, her notification states that she only has seven days to speak with her appeal agent. And the seven days starts from the minute they mail it. Friday, I went to Arnadi's local Social Security office in Marietta. A manager there directed me here to the regional office in downtown Atlanta. I finally spoke with the deputy regional communications director. He told me while he can't comment on Arnadi's case, he said he will review the matter and assist her with getting to the right agent at the right number. I'm trying to get simple answers and trying to let them know that, yes, I have sent all my paperwork, and then you call and you get a phone sex line. I mean, to me, that just is, you know, very irresponsible. Now, I asked several Social Security reps if they received any complaints about this phone sex line. Each time those reps told me they could not comment. In downtown Atlanta, Audrey Washington, Channel 2 Action News.